Hey, what's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today we're doing the Joshua versus White 2 breakdown video. As Anthony Joshua, the former three-time unified heavyweight champion of the world, takes on former world title challenger Dillian White in a rematch from their 2016 bout where Wilder, I mean where Joshua scored a seventh round TKO victory to stay undefeated. Now before we get into all of that, if you guys could smash the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, I really do appreciate any and all support as I try to build my channel up and if you don't like what I'm doing, you could always give me a thumbs down. Now this fight's taking place August 12th on DAZN, it's main eventing a DAZN card. And it's a, it, it's a big rematch. You got two guys that, you know, one is top five for sure in Joshua, um, but he's trying to hold on to that spot. And the other one, Dillian White, is um, trying to get back in the mix. Now, if you haven't seen my breakdown videos, I discuss what the fight means to the division, to boxing. Uh, then, you know, uh, I take each fighter individually. I would go in this fight, since it's a non-title fight, I'll go with the favorite and then the underdog. I ask the same questions and give the same breakdown on both. And then it's, uh, is it better for boxing if one of the other wins? And then the la uh, my final prediction on the fight. So this heavyweight rematch right here, you know, it means a lot to these two fighters and it's actually significant in the division. Uh, Joshua, who's a huge name, um, a win puts him in another big fight, you know, down the road that he's been wanting, particularly uh, Deontay Wilder. And Dillian White, it gets him back in a mix to earn a big fight, like he wants. So, it's an all-UK battle for Dillian White. You know, it's, he's trying to extract some re revenge here. And it's a big, big uh, heavyweight fight right here as these two guys lock horns again. So, you know, let's start with our favorite going into the fight, and that is former unified heavyweight champion in the world, Anthony Joshua. What has he done rolling into the fight? We look back at his last three fights, which date back to September of 2021, where he lost the unified heavyweight title to Oleksandr Usyk by a 12 round unanimous decision. Got outboxed in that one, got outworked, um, big upset as Usyk captured the belt. Then in August of 2022, I mean, that was actually, yeah, that's right, August of 2022, he returned to fight Usyk in a mandatory rematch. Um, this time, same result, except Joshua fought a little bit better, was more in the fight, was landing shots, but Usyk just too elusive, too good, out, outworked them, got a split decision. I personally didn't feel it was close enough to be scored a split decision, but nonetheless, Usyk, the rightful guy, won the fight and retained the title. So Joshua had two losses in a row, and returned in April of this year to take on Jermaine Franklin, and he outworked and outboxed and outclassed Franklin to a convincing 12-round unanimous decision. You know, most people feel it wasn't his best performance, but it was his first win in uh, about three and a half years since he had knocked out Kubrat Pulev back in, um, I, shit, I think that was in 2019. It might have been during 2020, so, uh, you know, it might not have been that long, but Joshua got the win, and now has some confidence and wants to, uh, you know, leave no doubt with Dillian White and um, get back into super title contention. Now, what is Joshua, what kind of style does he need to have? What, what does he need to do to win this fight? I just think he needs to use his height and reach. He's two inches taller, six inches longer on the reach. He needs to use the height and reach, break down Dillian White. One thing Dillian White has not done is went deep into fights. Uh, in his last, you know, the last three, four years. So Joshua needs to take advantage of that and break him down, bust him up, and take him into the deep waters and drown him. But he also needs to have good stamina for that. This is the biggest, uh, the fastest turnaround Joshua's had um, in years in terms of fights. So he needs to be in shape and ready to go, use the height and reach, and break down Dillian White. Now, what... Um, uh, can Joshua win this fight by knockout? And I think the answer is yes. He knocked him out before. People forget Anthony Joshua is 25 and 2 with 22 knockouts. The guy's got real serious power. He can definitely knock him out. He's already done it before against Dillian White. He can do it again, but he does not need a bum rush him. Can he win a decision? The answer is yes. He can outbox, he can outwork 
Dillian White and take a decision from him. I absolutely believe that. What does a win mean for Anthony Joshua in this one? Well, it keeps him rolling forward. It's big. It's not going to be the biggest one of his career by far, but it's big. It's against the rival, and it's going to keep him rolling, but he has to be impressive with this win. He can't just go out there and get a so-so win or just a decision. He's got to go out there and press and look good if he wants to really continue to get those big superstar fights or wants people to take him serious. Now, what does a loss mean for Anthony Joshua? A loss would be devastating. That might be it. I mean, to be honest, especially depending on how he loses. I can't see him losing a decision to Dillian White, but if Dillian White were to knock him out and get rid of Joshua, you know, unless Joshua is dominating the fight at the time of the stoppage, which is possible, I, I really believe a, a loss devastates him. Um, but then again, Joshua could set up a third fight, you know, if he were to lose. So, uh, potentially. So, it, it's really up in the air. A loss really would hurt him, though. Uh, either way, in my opinion. It would really derail him. Excuse me. Now we go over to the underdog, the former world title challenger, Dillian White. What has he done coming into this fight? Well, we go back to his last three, and they date back to, excuse me, April of 2021 where he knocked out Alexander Povetkin in, I believe it was uh, five rounds or four rounds to uh, avenge his, avenge the defeat to Povetkin the, the year prior and um, put himself forward. He became the interim champion again. He waited 13 months in between fights until uh, April of last year, 2022, when he fought Tyson Fury, finally got his world title shot. Tyson Fury busted him up, stopped him impressively in six rounds. Dillian White came up short. He would return nine months later, or eight months later in December uh, to take on Jermaine Franklin, who was undefeated. Had a little tough time with him, but he landed the harder, better shots, in my opinion, and walked away with a close but controversial decision as he, um, you know, had his hand raised. Now, he's been out of action since then, so he hasn't been very active the last few years. Two and a half years, he's only had three fights, and he hasn't really, uh, you know, had to go deep into the deep water. So what does Dillian White need to do to beat Anthony Joshua? He needs to sit on Joshua. He needs to put pressure on the body, slow Joshua down to try to land a big shot somewhere in the middle rounds. But he absolutely needs to be in great shape because he hasn't been the distance. He hasn't been 12 rounds in a while. He went 10 rounds against Jermaine Franklin last year, but Anthony Joshua is going to put more pressure on him. He hits harder and he's going to have to be prepared for that. So I really believe Dillian White needs to be in the best shape and uh, be ready to get in there, but he needs to try to land that big left hook sometime during early to middle rounds and hurt Joshua and then jump on him. So that's his goal. Can Dillian White win by knockout? I think he can, and I think that might be the only way he can win. I, I'm going to answer the second question with the first question. I don't believe Dillian White can win a decision against Anthony Joshua. I think Joshua is just too good of a boxer. He's going to pile up the points. And I don't think Dillian White can win unless he has a shitload of knockdowns. But if, he, if that happens, I think he's got the power to just finish Joshua unless he completely runs out of steam. So I think he can win by knockout. I do. I don't think he can win by a decision. Now... What does a win mean for Dillian White? Well, it's huge. It, it, it honestly would probably be the biggest win of his career. He'd, advan he'd avenge the first loss of his career, and he'd put himself, you know, uh, uh, forward for something way bigger, and that's what he wants. So I think a win would be big for him, um, would be the biggest of his career, and it would put him right back on track to get in title contention. What does a loss mean for Dillian White? Well, I don't think a loss hurts him all that bad, but it might be that might be time to hang him up if he gets beaten up badly. So a loss could be bad for him. It could end his serious streak in the uh, you know in the heavyweight top ten, top five. It might be retirement time if he gets beat up and gets knocked out. In this one, you know, um, this might be his last big payday. Uh, like I said, where people are taking him serious, so it could be devastating. But hey, you know, he could stay a gatekeeper, kind of like. Um, uh, kind of like his uh, his former, um, you know, uh, rival Derek Chisora, stay a kind of a gatekeeper and get big fights, or he might hang him up. So we'll see. Now, is it better for boxing if Anthony Joshua wins the rematch or if Dillian White gets the revenge? And that one to me is pretty simple. It's better for boxing if Anthony Joshua wins. He's the bigger name. Um, he's got the more attractive style. 
And, you know, Dillian White, I think you we see that he's limited to a point. He's a good fighter. He's been there. He's done that. But he's limited. And I don't think he can beat. Uh, I don't think it'd be good for boxing if he won. But, hey, he is a familiar face and he is a fun guy to watch. So we'll see. And now, finally, my prediction. Who's going to win this fight between Anthony Joshua and Dillian White in their heavyweight rematch? And this one, I got to go with... Um, with Dillian White. I mean, I'm sorry, Jesus, I'm drawing a blank here. I got a million things on my mind. I got to go with Anthony Joshua for sure. I think he's going to win this fight. I think he's going to break down Dillian White and stop him in the late rounds and get right back on track. But do not count Dillian White out. He is very dangerous late, uh, you know, with his left hook and his power. He's very dangerous. And I wouldn't be surprised if he hurts Joshua and puts him away early, middle. Late rounds is going to be tough because I think his stamina is going to be there. But I really believe Anthony Joshua has got one more good run in him, and I think he's going to stop Dillian White in their rematch and push forward. So that's it. That's what I got. That's the Josh Joshua versus White breakdown video as they rematch on August 12th on DAZN. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate any and all support. This is True Boxing. You've been hit with the truth.